The Island Birds of a Feather I live on a slightly off-kilter island, in that one side is kind of connected to land. But the land is divided between the state of Ohio, or as I'm sure it is pronounced, Ohio, and then a place called Indiana. The dog's name from Indiana Jones is Indiana. Most Michiganders don't actually know that Indiana is a real state, and they certainly have no idea that it is anywhere near Michigan. And no one would believe that it borders with it. So it's basically an island. And living on an island means meeting some of the world's most interesting birds. And sure as heck, pulling into the gym parking lot this morning, I've noticed a gaggle of geese like no other. These were tough birds. The impression I got from them was that of samurai. And I am not even convinced that they were on their way down south where it's warmer. They looked so powerful that maybe they are headed for Canada where the winter will toughen them up some more. Their boss was standing knee-deep in a puddle, and it was like 40 Fahrenheit today. I didn't even realize that a goose could be this tough. I have a very complicated relationship with geese, as I have been attacked many times as a child. I probably just dreamt this up, but I have a pretty clear memory of adults standing back as I tried to befriend a nearby goose. They were snickering that I'm about to learn a lesson. And sure as heck, I got hissed at and then pinched several times. And the adults laughed. Let me tell you something. I may love and adore seagulls, but I respect geese, and I see them as great warriors. That long neck should make you think of the dinosaurs. Birds are no ordinary creature. In a way, they have been evolving much longer than humans, than the shrew. It is a little known fact, but the true reason why geese walk across the road instead of using their wings is dignity. Many still recognize us as that little shrew from 65 million years ago. And they will certainly not go around a shrew. They will make the shrew stop traffic. Tough birds. Mm -hmm. This morning, they seem to have been having a business meeting with a friend of mine, a wise seagull in charge of all the fries and bottom hamburger buns that health-conscious people prefer to pass along to the birds. No doubt he let them have some, so that they fly strong whichever way they are going. My seagull friend, Bob, being a creature of comfort, is in fact packing up for the south. Maybe Georgie or Alabama, possibly Florida. Their meeting made me revisit one neat memory from ages ago that I have of flying south myself. I was once surprised by an early Michigan winter, and I simply rejected it. I got into my car and drove down to Tennessee, where I became enchanted by all the radio stations 
suddenly switching to playing country music. It was incredible. Shania Twain, Trisha Yearwood, Reba, Gao, Lee. And I continued on. I kept going down to Georgie and later Florida. That's the one thing about U.S. that people often seem to forget. Winter here is just a choice. If you don't like it, follow all the smart birds. Because down south, it's always summer. <laughs>